afternoon. So back out in the beacons, I found a, an evening where the forecast is not quite as bad as all the other evenings around. Uh, we're only expecting winds up to 30 miles an hour. Uh, two days ago it was 70 they were forecasting. 60 tomorrow evening, so I really don't know actually whether it's possible to camp up there, but I'm going to try. So in the Nayath Valley, as you can see, I just walked past the road, what was the reservoir, which has been uh, dismembered now. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the audio is going to be like this time because my road microphones have broken for the second time in about six weeks. Uh, so I'm back on the day it is, but I've had some problems setting them up, so hopefully it'll be okay. Anyway, as I say, I'm in the bottom of the Nath Valley, I'm just on my way up to the east. I'm not aiming to go up to Penavan or anywhere, uh, just going to find somewhere flat and put a tent up. And I have a new tent, so you'll see that when I get up there. Oh, steep. Just having a pause. Have a look at the view. So, can't see. That's uh, funny big. Caribbean. Pen of hands in the clouds. Just for lack of filming, uh, couldn't really film on the way up because it's so steep. It just all I could do was to hang on to my paws, really. But um, I got up on the top, and I spent ages and ages looking for a pitch because um, the whole top of this thing is boggy, really boggy. And the wind's blowing again. Now I did want to bring this tent out in the wind because I wanted to see how it did. It's a Big Sky International Chinook 1P. So <laughs> I bought it really because um, the last time I was out I was in the Fell Raven and I just could not get on with not being able to sit up in the tent after using the uh, X-Mid 1, well 1P and 2P all, well since February, um, I just really needed to be able to s sit up, which as you can see I can do quite quite easily in this one. Um, I haven't quite got it pitched correctly with wind direction unfortunately, so this side is blown in a bit and that side is blown out a bit, but um, I did get it in the sales, so almost 200 quid off. So, um, yeah, so far quite happy with it. Oh, yeah, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Right, food tonight, food tonight. I have, I've gone back to something I've had quite a few times before. We've got some Uncle Ben's rice. This is Chinese style. 
and good old Madison's smoked sausage, main course. I got some nuts. I've also got, I brought plenty of water this time, and I've got uh, a couple actually of tomato soups, and of course the usual, oh, the usual, um, I've got porridge for breakfast, and of course oxo cubes, and coffee, and I've got a couple of picnics, and a couple of energy bars, and one thing and another. So I'm not going to be hungry. Um, entertainment for the evening. I brought this old tablet and I've downloaded some films onto that. I know I could do it on my phone, but uh, you know, decent sized screen. Um, and I've got, um, I do have podcasts on my phone as well that I've downloaded. Oh, yay. Do you know my hands got cold putting the tent up and I just cannot get them warm. Right. Um, Okay, I'm going to get on with cooking. What's the time? It's it's half past six. Time to cook some scran. As uh, I've been watching a new guy, a good bloke outdoors. Uh, yeah, we're a fortune. That guy he calls his food scran. Good word. Right, I'm going to uh, start cooking then. This is going to take some time. So I reckon that's ready. Ah, right, dindins. Okay, so I've got another brew on. Might suit this time. I like that wind. It's supposed to be between 25 and 30 miles an hour, sort of 25 wind, 30 mile an hour gusts. Well, I've just measured one gust at 40.6. I'm not convinced that was the strongest one. So I guess I'll find out tonight if this tent's any good. It's sitting here at the moment. It just started. Oh, you can hear it. It doesn't really flap too much. It's a bit on the bottom edge where it's too far off the ground because the ground's all, uh, you know, wonky. But yeah. Quite happy with it so far. I'm a bit annoyed with myself not being able to show you the tent before I got in it, really. But, you know, that's the way my, uh, my trips and my videos go, isn't it? I just had a... WhatsApp from Linda saying, uh, too late to go home now. <laughs> it's half past eight, yeah, I guess. I'd be, it took me about an hour to get up here. About uh, an hour to find a pitch because the whole damn place is as boggy as hell. Uh, nothing flat that's not wet through. But uh, I guess it would take me, what, half an hour to pack up? Three quarters of an hour to get to the car. Yeah, two hour and a half to drive home. Yeah, too late to go home now. I'm gonna have to stick it out, don't I? Anyway, I'll catch up with you later. Right, time for the last brew of the day. Um, it's about 11 o'clock. Wind is blowing like mad. Turns out I looked at the wrong forecast. Well, did I look at the wrong forecast? Because if you look at like the the Met Office for Brecon Beacons, it says um, 25 miles an hour winds gusting to 30, 31-ish. And that's what I was expecting. Um, but it's definitely at times it's a lot higher, higher than that. I've measured one gust at 40.6, another one at 37, so. So I had another look to see if it had changed, and it hasn't. But if you look at the Penavan forecast, Penavan being a couple of miles up that way, and 200 meters higher maybe, 250 perhaps, I'm not sure. 
what is it, 886 in a van and I'm at about 650. Yeah, so between 200 and 250 meters an hour. But a pound of van do a forecast in 40 mile an hour winds with 59 mile an hour gusts in, in a couple of hours time. So, well, we'll wait and see, I guess. So I've watched the film, I've been head down for a bit. Uh, yeah, I want to apologise again for not showing you my new tent before it got dark. I will show you in the morning. Uh, my plan is to get up quite a bit, quite early before sunrise, which I think is about eight o'clock, and then get everything packed, get as much as I can packed away, leaving only a really stuff that helps me show you the tent. Um, Anyway, I'll finish my brew, I'll get my head down, and I'm still here, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It is just gone seven. I thought, because uh, sunrise is about eight o'clock, and I decided that, given the wind, and it's been raining on and off since about six o'clock, I get up a bit early, get stuff packed away, and uh, get off the hill. Hopefully I will have time to... <laughs> I don't know if the mic's picking up the wind, but it's been like that all night. I'm getting stronger. <sighs> Wouldn't be my favourite uh, night in a tent. <laughs> ah, dear. Oh, it's... Uh, I don't know. Either way, really good test of the tent. There's, uh, well, there's not going to be any condensation, is there, because of the wind? Um, nothing's broken as far as I can see. Ooh. I'm not looking forward to getting out of the tent, to tell you that much. Anyway, I'm going to get a brew on, have a cup of coffee, kickstart my day, and then uh, start packing stuff away. Hopefully I can show you a bit of the tent. Um, a bit difficult in this wind, really, but uh, I'll do what I can. Anyway, I'll catch up with you uh, a bit later on. Oh, my coffee. I hope to say, actually, because of this wind flapping around, the inner is flapping more than the fly, but um, I did spend a bit of time last night trying to decide whether I should bail or not, because I didn't quite get the tent up aligned to the wind so this backside's been pushing in as you can see because the wind's more coming on the corner rather than on the end and it, I was getting battered by the side and then every so often there'd be like a loud slap and I was thinking I got this new tent I don't want to wreck it first time there maybe I should go and I spent I would say, oh, I don't know, ages trying to figure out should I should I bail or not. And in the end, I decided that bailing is probably more dangerous than staying here with this wind. And the way down from here is like really, really steep. We, uh, they put a stone path in, but some of the stone steps are like almost two foot high. So to go down in the wind, assuming the wind's down there. And in the dark, no, it wasn't going to happen, was it really? So I had to stick it out. I feel like I didn't sleep at all. But then I did wake up a couple of times, so I guess I must have done. But it uh, wasn't a great deal. Ah, yay. Right, I can see it's starting to lighten up now. So I'll get this down me and then start packing up. So, the tent I've got is a Big Sky International Chinook 1P. Whoa! And it's just done like, I don't know, 16 hours in 40 mile an hour gusts of wind, or somewhere between 35 and 40. So here's, here's the vestibule, as you can see it's, it's quite large. I've been cooking in this one. 
Um, doors open from the bottom and the top, so double zips. So you can have a look at the uh, mess that's outside. And down at the bottom there's a clip. Take the strain off the uh, zip. As you can see, the same the other side, I've just got my boots in that one. And you can see that side's blowing in because it's almost face on to the wind. Now inside, there are two pockets that end and another two this end. Um, also we have these wind mesh windows if we should want them. Now I'm currently kneeling up in this, so it's pretty good. Width-wise, that end is 24 inches. I can't remember what this end is. That's the foot end down there. This is the head end, which is significantly wider. Unfortunately, and, you know, and the, the wall is steeper as well. Ah, what else? Is there anything else to tell you from the inside? I don't think so. It was long enough. It's wide enough for a regular wide pad. Obviously, at the 24 inch end, not really wide enough. But what I could do is I could put the regular wide in here and then I put my bag on the end. So, and I still had about six inches down this end, so it's quite big enough. Very narrow at the top, but I can, as I just said, I'm kneeling up in it. Okay, I'll do, I'll do a bit, I'll have, <laughs> wow. I'll have a look outside. Um, when I finally pluck up the courage to get out there. In the meantime, I'm just going to pack up the last few things and then we'll get out and uh, brave the wind. Well, <laughs> I didn't get any uh, pictures of the tent. I'll have to do it another time. Sorry about that. I'll put a picture of one out of the magazine or something so you can see it. The wind is just too vicious. Uh, I have managed to leave no trace as far as I can tell. I can hardly breathe in this wind. This is awful. Right, I'm going to get off this hill ASAP and uh, get out of the wind. So I might speak to you a bit later on. Well, I'm out of the worst of the wind now. Part of the way down the hill. <laughs> oh dear. That was, uh, that was tough. So the tent survived. I didn't manage to show it to you, unfortunately. That wind was just brutal. Absolutely brutal. And of course, the instant I got out of the tent, it started pissing it down. But never mind, I survived the night. Oh, I got rain all over my glasses, haven't I? <laughs> so if you've watched this far, I'm sorry it wasn't the best film I've ever done. But uh, if you want to see a better one, uh, I'll put one up on the screen right at the end here and then uh, go and watch that one. you get a better idea of what I'm about. <laughs> so, right, let's go home and start drying stuff. Ugh. Right, thanks. See you again soon.